Yechezkeel, Ezekiel 43. Afterward, he brought me to the gate, even the gate that looks toward the east. And behold, the glory of Elohim of Yashadael came from the way of the east. And his voice was like a noise of many waters, and the earth shined with his glory. And it was according to the appearance of the vision which I saw, even according to the vision that I saw when I came to destroy Eth the city. And the visions were like the vision that I saw by the river Kirvar. And I fell upon my face. And the glory of Yahuwah came into the house by the way of the gate, whose prospect is toward the east. So the Ruach took me up and brought me into the inner court. And behold, the glory of Yahuwah filled the house. And I heard him speaking unto me out of the house. And the man stood by me. And he said unto me, Son of Adam, at the place of my throne, and at the place of the soles of my feet, where I will dwell in the midst of the children of Yashadael forever, and my holy name, shall the house of Yashadael no more defile, neither they nor the kings by their whoredom, nor by the carcasses of their kings in their high places. In their setting of their threshold by eth my thresholds, and their post by my posts, and the wall between me and them. They have even defiled eth my holy name by their abominations that they have committed. Wherefore, I have consumed them in my anger. Now, let them put away eth their whoredom and the carcasses of their kings far from me, and I will dwell in the midst of them forever. You, son of Adam, show eth the house to eth the house of Yashadael, that they may be ashamed of their iniquities, and let them measure eth the pattern. And if they be ashamed of all that they have done, show them the form of the house, and the fashion thereof, and the goings out thereof, and the comings in thereof and all the forms thereof, and eth all the ordinances thereof, and all the forms thereof, and all the Torah thereof, and write it in their sight, that they may guard eth the whole form thereof, and eth all the ordinances thereof, and do them. This is the Torah of the house. Upon the top of the mountain, the whole limit thereof, round about, shall be most holy. Behold, this is the Torah of the house. And these are the measures of the altar after the cubits. The cubit is a cubit and a hand breadth. Even the bottom shall be a cubit, and the breadth a cubit, and the border thereof by the edge thereof, round about shall be a span, and this shall be the higher place of the altar. And from the bottom upon the ground, even to the lower settle, shall be two cubits, and the breadth one cubit, and from the lesser settle even to the greater settle shall be four cubits, and the breadth one cubit. 
So the altar shall be four cubits, and from the altar and upward shall be four horns. And the altar shall be twelve cubits long, twelve broad, square in the four squares thereof. And the settle shall be fourteen cubits long, and fourteen broad in the four squares thereof. And the border about it shall be half a cubit and the bottom thereof shall be a cubit about, and his stairs shall look toward the east. And he said unto me, Son of Adam, thus says Adonai Yahuwah, These are the ordinances of the altar in the day when they shall make it, to offer burnt offerings thereon, and to sprinkle blood thereon. And you shall give to the priests the Leviim that be of the seed of Sedach, which approach unto me, to minister unto me, says Adonai Yahuwah, a young bullock for a sin offering. And you shall take of the blood thereof, and put it on the four horns of it, and on the four corners of the settle, and upon the border round about. Thus shall you cleanse and purge it. You shall take at the bullock also of the sin offering, and he shall burn it in the appointed place of the house, without the sanctuary. And on the second day you shall offer a kid of the goats, without blemish, for a sin offering, and they shall cleanse at the altar, as they did cleanse it, with the bullock. When you have made an end of cleansing it, you shall offer a young bullock without blemish and a ram out of the flock without blemish. And you shall offer them before Yahuwah and the priests shall cast salt upon them and they shall offer them up for a burnt offering unto Yahuwah. Seven days shall you prepare every day a goat for a sin offering. They shall also prepare a young bullock and a ram out of the flock without blemish. Seven days shall they purge at the altar and purify it. And they shall consecrate themselves. And when at these days are expired, it shall be that upon the eighth day and so forward, the priests shall make at your burnt offerings upon the altar, and at your peace offerings, and I will accept you, says Adonai Yahuwah.